What's good with you, Gemini? This could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It's timeless. It may not resonate for every Gemini, but let's get into the message. So, um, this is really interesting because in the past energy, we've got unbothered and crack shot, superior, right? Whoever you are, you're pretty unbothered about. This feels very romantic, right? There's someone you are in a connection with. Um, you are you could currently be dealing with this person right now. All right, now this message is not for everyone, but it's like you're really unbothered by this person. Okay, you don't really care what they're up to, what they're doing, um, and I feel like it's because there's there's something that you're really good at. Okay, you're either really skilled at it. Um, some of you may be quite an intense, or people have told you that you're a very intense person. But I'm getting that you're very, um, like if you want something in your life, oh my God, you will go and get it, right? Like some of you could have Libra, Cancer, or um, Capricorn energy as well, right? So I'm getting like there's this person, fuck, fuck, this is so full on, sorry, <laughs> like whoa. There is a person, all right, you are very, very, very good at something. Okay, and I think that you know it. I think this person knows it. Um, they also know that you're going to come into a lot of money, a lot of wealth, right? This is you, right? This is you and your current energy. You are some seriously fucking powerful manifester. You have everything that you need. It's all in your mind, right? It's all in your perspective. You are manifesting your destiny, right? You are manifesting luck. You are manifesting good fortune, good karma, good a lot of money, right? And your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides are supporting you as you do this, okay? And and I feel like for you, confidence is very important, right? For you to, to manifest this stuff, belief in yourself is, is important. So you've got somebody that is in your energy that basically they want to be with you just for the money that you're manifesting, right? Some of you could have already accumulated a lot of wealth. And this person wants to be with you because of that, right? Or because of what you're going to come into right they can see where you're going before you can sort of thing um but i feel like for the most part some of you could be practicing magicians or like seriously like or just very tapped in individuals very tapped in very tuned in um and you seem to be very aware that whoever this person is oh they're, they're refusing to face reality of some kind right they have limiting beliefs around money and this is exactly why this person is about to come in and and try to use some scarcity tactics, right? Use some scarcity tactics to get you to stay with them, to get you to to not ice them out. Because gang, it feels like you guys are about to ice this person out because you can see their intentions, right? Or you know their intentions deep in your gut. You just know. And the thing is, when you... I'm getting like some of you could be even haunted by this person, right? Flashbacks. Maybe this person's giving you f trauma, right? But there's side effects from having this person in your energy. That's the whole thing, right? This person's got a lot of fear-based thinking and they think they're going to get some kind of easy way out through you because you're very good at something. You have no problem taking chances on things, right? I'm hearing the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> so... So take that how it resonates. Um, the proof is in the pudding. But yeah, this person basically wants to be with you. It's giving like a bit of like a gold digger or like a bit of a gigolo type of energy, right? And I'm hearing for status as well. This person could want to be with you just for status. So yeah, they're about to... Like this person knows you're manifesting big things, right? They may not know how to do those things for themselves. Um they may just in their mind they think well i better like marry a successful person or you know get in a relationship with a successful person or someone who's going to be really successful because that's the easiest thing for me right but i'm getting like you're very intelligent right you can see straight through this person and their intentions right you can see their motives um and i'm getting this person is stressing out because they're not getting your love right Maybe they've been trying to offer you a cup of love. Maybe they've been trying to have a new beginning with you, a fresh start with you. Um, or they've been trying to get like a love connection off the ground with you, like for things to go into the next level, right? For you guys to get married or something. Man, we want prenups. We want prenups. Yeah. <laughs> 
And when she leave the ass, she gonna leave with half. 18 years, 18 years. And on the 18th birthday, he found out it wasn't his. Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger. Uh, but she ain't messing with no... Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger. Uh, but she ain't messing with no broke to broke. Ah, uh, get down, girl. Go hang, get down. Like, legitimately, this person is kind of upset. Like, they up in their head at night. Having a hard time sleeping, thinking about you, how you're not taking their offer, how you're not... Man, their love spells aren't working. Oh, shit. You're so unbothered, and it bothers this person. Right? It's not that you're just unbothered. It's like, you also, you're very calm. <laughs> so, thank God for that. Because we're about to look into what this person's about to do. <laughs> right? Scarcity tactics. Spirit, can you clarify? What this person's about to do to my collective Geminis. Come on. Right? Scarcity tactics. I'm telling you, you guys are stepping into your power. I'm hearing you are real kings. You are real queens. You are real royalty. Right? Some of you are coming into the spotlight. Some of you are coming into a lot of praise. Well, this is where you're meant to be heading in towards right and this person they're gonna about they're gonna use scarcity tactics to kind of get you off your throne you know what i mean maybe they're getting some evidence maybe they're spying on your shit go and do your shit right you take a resonance gang but i'm hearing when this person tries to do something to scare you to stay with them you make sure you get the proof right you make sure you get the evidence but there's about to be a breakup Okay, because like this person is about to make a move and it's going to cause you to just go, okay, one plus one equals two, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? They take step one and two. So that means that you respond with step three, four and five, right? It's like, I don't know, their action equals you breaking up with them. That's what it's, that's what I'm getting. Like, it's about to be over for them real quick. Like, you're about to cut this motherfucker the fuck off. Like, like that's it. And I would say just be careful. Like, because if this person gets angry at you or, I don't know, just get your evidence if you need it, right? Because this person could be taking screenshots of your messages together and, you know, showing them to other people, right? They may have screenshots of shit you guys have talked about just because they miss you. But I'm getting, no, like, this person is really heavy, heavily, like, obsessive over you, obsessive over what they could, you know, get out of you, have with you, right? You know, they, they think that, they think it is happily ever after with you. But, like, what is their motive? You know what I mean? Their motive is to, is to marry you just for money. So, you know, like, I think in your mind, it's not love, right? It's not love. This person may not have the capability to love you the way that you want to be loved. Um, because they're kind of like in their ego, right? They, they could be very materialistic or just, you know, expect things to be handed to them. Right? Or expect things to fall in their lap without having to do any work. You know, I do get for some of you, this could be a very beautiful person that is very magnetic. Right? But I'm telling you, like, this person has limiting beliefs. And... It's the thing that causes them to sabotage their own success over and over and over again, right? It's like, yeah, it's like you want somebody independent, whoever I'm picking up on. This is what I feel. So, yeah, you take a resonance day, gang. Let's see what we're up to. Eight minutes. Dang, man. Yeah, let's see more about what this, um, what this strategy is that they're about to come in with. I say she a gold digger. May. But she ain't messing with no. Right? Could be a water sign or you could be the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or that that's who this person is for some of you. Right? I'm getting. You're going to be called to use your intuition very soon. Okay? Be because this person is going to realize. When they realize that they're not going to get their wish with you, that they're not going to get this soulmate happily ever after connection with you, when they ain't getting the gold at the end of the rainbow, oh, shit. I'm telling you, this person's about to pull out some tricks out of the bag, about to make some moves, gang. Because you don't want to sign no contract. You don't want to give them no ring. You don't want to propose to them. You don't want to marry them. I'm telling you, it's like a game to them. Right? They're thinking, I got I to gotta get the queen next to the king quickly. <laughs> Right, and checkmate that king. 
clarify how they get how are they about to do this with the scarcity tactics what are they going to do they want to make you feel like you have no choice like you don't have free will right they may even also try to pull their energy back and stop communicating with you right they might try to act uninterested oh but baby they interested oh baby they interested right they may try to you know say i got other options i got options heavy on the free will right this person is definitely trying to you know control your free will you know what i mean but who's in control who's got the controller controller i need a sneeze <sighs> see that's for confirmation shake it off shake it off game right that's what this person's about to do they just acted two-faced, okay? This could really go down within a few days whenever you're seeing this. So, yeah. Um, I just feel like you're better off. You're going to be better off icing this person out for whatever reason. I feel like they're gonna you're going to break up with this person and cut your losses with them. Because you see what they up to, gang. I love you so much. Peace.